This programme contains strong language and sexual references throughout. After weeks of frustration and with the proposal ceremony on the horizon, the girls help set up a date where Sarin could finally give Lola the physical affection that she's been craving. He just looks so cute and pretty and beautiful and sexy. Now, Lola is letting Paula know whether the date was a success or not. <laughs> no, there's nothing, nothing. I'm just happy right now. I'm just very happy right now. I felt that so much love. I had a great night with Seren. These are tears of joy. It just was so romantic. He gave me the love and affection that I deserve. Even if we're not having sex, it just felt good to have my man back. I did not realize how much I've been holding. I've been holding a lot. And I'm just so grateful for tonight. Lola and Sarit's date seemed really beautiful. They were holding hands, holding each other, but relationship fairy godmothers can only do so much. We are not magicians and we cannot create a boner and sex. <laughs> <sighs> you guys, the emotion I've been going through today, I'm getting woken up by you tonight. <laughs> I'm feeling quite deflated today because we are like dynamic duo, like we're great when we're great, but it can't be this bad when it's bad because it's just not good for either of us. Are you fucking dead? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Done. It's not like I give her a cup of tea and she's like, oh, thanks, Charlie. I'm rubbing up. She's like, oh, stop it, Charlie. Do you see the difference with the cup of tea and the, and the sexual activity? It's a big fucking difference. I do love him but I feel like we just keep breaking each other's hearts over and over. Me and Shayla had a little disagreement yesterday. That's, that's a fact. My problem is with you. You put your energy into somebody else. You don't take your own advice. Grace you completely ignored me. So now happy. I'm loud. What I do now? Do you realize you do the same thing every morning? By the time I make food, get dressed, go outside, you're back in bed every day since we've been here. Mm -mm, not every day. We've never had a morning together. It's a new day, but I'm still feeling sore. Spari's not emotionally intelligent. I don't want to be treated like you can't handle me. All I'm saying is I just wanted to do that with you for one morning. I haven't done that. I mean, we just what? Bro, it's not, what did the fuck did I, you walking away again. Like, no, because it's fine, just, just go to sleep. It's, uh, nothing's going to change. <sighs> Bro, like, do you understand how unfair that was? You said what you had to say, then walked away. Because it's not going to change anything. Okay. Yeah, exactly. How can we make this situation better? Because all I want to do is put smiles on her face. All I want to do is make her happy. I don't know what the hell's going on with me. Well, lay down. I can't, because you out here and you're mad about that situation. Oh, so now I'm feeling guilty about it. I'm not mad, bro. I had a conversation with Cam yesterday, right? You ask for this. What are your non-negotiables? I never used the word non-negotiable. If you were supposed to name your non-negotiables in a relationship, what would it be? Cheating. That's, that's, that goes without saying. Write down everything you don't like, and then you figure out which ones you can live with and which ones you can't live with. Benefit of the doubt. Bro, I give you the benefit of the doubt every day. Not knowing how to deal with my emotions. Everybody processes emotions differently. Not having a positive outlook. Babe, like, stuff like that doesn't make sense to me. This is just what I'm saying. This is in a general sense. Why don't you go over yours? Conversation should not be a shouting competition. I'm not shouting right now. Yeah. I feel like going over the non-negotiables and seeing how we both are like combating each other and advocating for ourselves, it's really putting into perspective that we are on two different pages, not only in the relationship, but just in life. It's a disconnect. 
Every time I talk to you about something that's important to me, you give me details about why you can't do that. You're getting mad and I'm you just mad. don't want to listen, bro. I'm not mad. I'm just accepting what this is. What is this? And what is this to you? This is just, I feel like it's genuinely a one-way street. Damn, I want us to understand each other. She wants me to understand her, but for this moment right here that we're in, I'm not getting it. Okay, you so let's table this conversation. You want to me? Okay, you let's can table, do that. Let's table you can this be a contradiction all you want, but when I do it or when I act in some sort of way, it's a staple of who I am to Let, you. Let's table I this can't conversation. Just... All right, sorry. All right. I don't think I could talk to you, bro. Like you get emotional, and I just want to give up. I'm I'm sorry for everything. I'm going home. No. Oh my fucking god. No, 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 no. That honestly was a tipping point for me. It's like when I speak to him, nothing clicks. I'm like 100% sure I do not want to get engaged to him. Yo, Shay. Nah, I really got to go, bro. I'm not joking. Bro, what do you mean? What the fuck am I supposed to be here without you for? I'm shocked because when I walked in, they just seemed like one of the strongest couples. They love each other so much. I just honestly shocked. Can I talk to uh, uh, Like, it's an emergency. I regret everything I said. I don't want you to leave. I still am super ready to get engaged. What's going on? Shayla, I don't know what's going on, but that looks like a mess I do not want to see. You all right? I just want to go. Why? Because. I just, I don't feel like I'm getting anywhere. Just can't get what I need from him. No matter what I say, no matter what I do. Okay. It's such a contradiction. What is? This whole relationship. It's like, yeah, every, it's like he's the perfect you, the person you would think you want, but when it comes down to the shit that is actually affecting me and the person I am, it's, you just can't handle it. Even though I love Swari so, so, so much and the love is real, it's just that love is not enough. My time is over and I'm okay with that. I came here for answers. Hold the pass for me. I really wanted to know if the little things that have been pissing me off and bothering me were something that I could get over. And it's just, I can't. One, two, three, love me. let's go. I need to do it. I do. I need to break up with him. Whoa, whoa. I'm just scared he's not going to handle it. Whoa.